What is up, comic fans? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and today I have a $75 mystery box from my buddy Flo Dameron right here on YouTube and Instagram. He is 50% of the Bada Boon podcast, and he's an amazing member of this community. I was happy to pick up this box. I waited patiently for it to get here, and it has arrived, so I'm ready to get into it. See if I scored anything great for the PC, and if you want to know what's in here, don't go anywhere. Check this out. All right, big shout out to the channel sponsor, Big Time Collectibles. Be sure to check them out at their website or follow them on social media. They are the sponsor of the monthly Legion Loot giveaway for the channel members. So definitely consider going down below, hitting that join button, becoming a channel member, and get in on the action. And if you need anything cleaned or pressed, hit up our good friend, Justin's Comics over on Instagram for as little as $10. He can hook it up. He can also submit directly to CGC or CBCS for you if you do not have your own account. And if you let him know you found him via the channel or hit him with the promo code WEARLEGION, you can take advantage of the buy two, get one free special offer that he's running for the viewers of the channel. If you need a direct link to any of the sponsors there in the description to all of my videos, as well as a link to Pops Attic, where you can buy books of mine or my pops. Where we, That's where we go and sell our books, and they're priced to move. And also, the merch store is down there. You can get you a nice Comic Illuminati shirt, as well as numerous other things down in the Legion, uh, Legion of Comics dot shop merch store. So let's get into it. Like I said, $75 comic book mystery box from my buddy Flo Dameron. He is one of the hosts of the podcast, Bada Boom. It's the Bada Boom Podcast, available where all your podcasting needs go to podcasts. It's a note. There, there's a note in there. Thank you, Mark. Always there supporting, even when you don't like the books, like Blue Beetle, LOL. I hope you like this, though. Like the first, I hope you like this box like the first one. Enjoy flow. So, yeah, he's done one other mystery box round. And I believe that round was like 50 bucks shipped. So he's up the ante with this box. There are some cool books in there. There was a lot of stuff that I didn't care about. But I love to support a community member when I get a chance. You won't find me buying mystery boxes from people that I don't know and support already. Because it's not really my thing. Just put it out there. It's not really my thing. But I believe in Flo Dameron. I believe in what he's doing with the Bottom Podcast. Podcast. I want to see it grow and get bigger. So I like to participate when he does stuff. And uh, I did get to pick my box number here. There was 10 boxes. I picked number six. And uh, so whatever's in here, if I don't like it, it's on me. And a couple things really got me really starting to buy mystery boxes when my friends put them out is uh, I can just sell the books if I don't want them. I used to not really have an avenue to do that. But like I mentioned at the beginning, Pops Attic on Instagram. Uh, anything I don't want, need, or don't want a PC, I can just list it up there for sale and pray that I get my money back. And if I do, awesome. If I don't, at least I can get something back, you know. And uh, this is a, God, this is a big stack of books. Big stack of books here. Good job. I don't know what I signed up for here. I'm definitely a fan of the more books, more value than a lot of books more value. But we'll see what we got here. We'll see what we got here. I hope this isn't the hit just sitting on top. If it is, you need to package your mystery boxes to be more grandiose. All right, let's see. Oh, S word. All right, I'm flip I don't know why I'm flipping through them first. So there's actually a lot, of, there's a lot of fire in here, dude. There's a lot of fire in here. All right, Ghost Rider number 28, first book. This is part one of the Midnight Suns. And it looks like it is still polybagged. I know these Midnight Sun stuff is super hot right now. Everyone is speculating that Marvel's going to be putting out some Midnight Suns content. They've been building out their MCU roster, and we're seeing like uh, the first little hint of characters that can really come together like butt cheeks to bring on the Midnight Suns team, which is like their occult team over at Marvel. So that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Don't know the value on it, but that's pretty dope. Uh, Spawn, issue number six from Todd McFarlane. The first appearance of Overt Kill, who's uh, misspelt on the inside of this book, Overkill. So that's a cool character. I do have a lot of these, I'm sure, but still a great book. And then we have Future State Teen Titans, issue number two, the B cover, which is 
the first full appearance of Red X, at least this incarnation of Red X. Great little mystery story behind this character. I'm still waiting for him to re-pop up. So that's three for three already on some decent books. And this is probably going to be my personal banger. I do have this book, but still, this is Swamp Thing issue number 50, the anniversary issue, which is the first appearance of Justice League Dark. That is fire. Of course, you got my man's Dr. Fate, Dead Man, Swamp Thing, Phantom Stranger, Etrigan the Demon, and the Spectre. This issue is also the first appearance of the Great Darkness, which was just the big heel in the Dark Crisis event, as well as the death of Zatara, who is Zatanna's father and who first appeared in Action Comics issue one alongside the Man of Steel. This is a great book. Sleeper hit, underrated, undervalued, happy to have a second copy. Banger. Absolute banger. This book I can't see enough. I have numerous ones of these. This is Avengers Forever, issue number one, the first appearance of the MCU, Agent Carter, Captain Carter, Peggy Carter, on the roids, whatever you want to call Carter. Yeah, whatever you want to call her, Carter. She first appears right here on the cover, and that is the one that is in continuity with the MCU, not the one from Exiles. And this is also a book that she is not on the interiors of, but that's still her on the cover, much like that appearance of Bishop. Doesn't matter the consistency. What matters is what the market declares, and they have declared that to be her first appearance. Next up, a Stormbreakers variant by Patrick Gleason of Spider-Man 2099, who's definitely my favorite Spider-Man costume ever, and that's a pretty cool cover. That'll be going back out to the community. Next up, we have some beautiful Jim Lee goodness. This is Infinite Crisis issue number three, which this is going to be the first appearance of Jaime, yeah, Jaime Reyes, who later becomes the Blue Beetle in issue number five. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous Jim Lee cover. So for this entire seven-issue uh, series, they had a A cover by Jim Lee and a B cover by George Perez. And it's great to have this awesome, awesome. You have the original Golden Age Superman from Earth 1 looking at Batman from our Earth with the classics in the back as well. Bruce and uh, Selena holding baby Helena with grown-up Dick Grayson right next to him. Just a gorgeous cover. Fantastic series. So many big things came out of this, and it looks like we have something on the back. This came from something called Red Hood Comics, where they rated it at a 9.0. Very fine, near mint, uh, to say the least. To say the least. It is in Mylar Magic, but there are two little small spine ticks. You have numerous copies of this. I bought the A and B covers as that series was coming out. I was working at my LCS back in those days, and then I have a whole nother set that I bought over the course of the years. And then I believe that I have the black and white sketch variant for that one. That was a second print number exclusive kind of thing. Don't remember exactly. Next up, another book that's awesome to have, Batman 609. And this hails from the uh, legendary Jeff Loeb, Jim Lee run of Batman Hush. I do believe this is one of the Hush books. Girls Night Out. I think this is close to the issues where... Poison Ivy takes over Superman, and Batman has to pull out the kryptonite brass nooks. So whoever they bought it from is rating this book at an 8.5. Do all of them have that? No, just those two so far. Next up, another cool book. This is an old 50-cent goodness here. This is Jonah Hex, issue number 16. I'm not sure if there's any key significance to this one. I'm super curious, but this is a gorgeous cover. Yeah, I'm, I'm super curious. i got to look right now. Jonah Hex 16. I'm not seeing it. Wait, there we go. Nope, not seeing any significance on that one. Just a cool Jonah Hex cover, I guess. So that's a dope cover. That's in clean condition. Not sure. It's just standard Jonah Hex issue try to give y'all a little information on this next one because I know that would be appreciated, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is another banger. I am a, I am a big Ghost Rider fan. And what we have right here is a Ghost Rider book. So this is all new Ghost Rider issue number one, which is, and I'm super happy to have this, the first appearance of Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider because I'm, I'm a big Ghost Rider fan. Love the guy. It's one of the few Marvel titles that's coming out right now that I'm picking up and reading. And he made his first live action appearance on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which was a dope appearance. They did him justice. 
super cool character. This is the A cover. It's listed right now on eBay for $80. So that's actually a little bit of a higher value book right there. That seems to be one of the hits. I'm trying to see if I can find a last sold was $34.99 last sold and before that $51. So the book holds a little bit of value, about half the value of the box right here, which I'm, I'm no doubt overvalue at this point because I've got that in there with that just amongst those two books right there and that's probably about a five to ten dollar book i don't know if these are still as hot as they were but uh in these two books alone the first appearance of the justice league dark and the first appearance of robbie ray as ghost rider that box is a banger like dude flo dameron knocks it out again if this kid after these two boxes hasn't made a solid name for himself with mystery boxes i don't know what else someone could do to do that so i know his box is sold out it took him a couple of days i hope you were able to get one let me know down in the comments what your favorite book from this box was. There's definitely PC books in here. That first Justice League Dark, that first Midnight Suns I might put back out. This Jonah Hex is like double boarded and mylar out. I don't know what the significance is with this. I don't know if I'm just missing something. Didn't turn anything up when I looked. That's got to be a few bucks for sure. Another key. I don't know. I'm just going to get rid of these. And uh, I have that. So all these are going to end up going on Pop's Attic for sure. I'll see what I'm going to do with the other stuff. I might might hold that back just a little bit with the Blue Beetle movie fastly approaching. Yeah, those will definitely go to Pop's Attic. So it's definitely some great stuff. I, I feel like I got numerous hits in there. So big thank you to Flo Dameron. Please, please, please go check out the Bada Boom podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Or if you're like me and you're just a slave to the machine and you like to stay on YouTube, have no fear. They cater to you as well. The podcast uploads to YouTube where you can listen right here where you're already familiar and comfortable with the platform. And even to add to that, they also have been posting a lot of shorts and all kinds of stuff with information, news, and everything. Definitely give them a subscribe. Support some great members of this community that are bringing a lot of great content back to us. So big thank you again, Flo. The box was fantastic. I cannot wait for you to see this and get to see my reaction. I cannot imagine how much pressure and nerves go into making these things. You did good, my friend. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.